You might think that this is useless knowledge, but it actually helps me stand out from other workers. I was able to complete tasks they didn't know how to handle. Watch this video to become better than your team. What is ZCH and Bash? This is common like shell commonly used on Mac or Linux. Okay, okay, as for child, a shell is like a helper who listens to what you type and then tells the computer what to do. Bash is a basic helper that understands a lot of common commands. It's like a regular helper that's really good at following instructions, but it doesn't do anything fancy. ZCH is like a super helper. It does everything Bash can do, but also has extra tricks. It can guess what you mean if you make a mistake, and it can suggest things as you type, kind of like when your phone suggests words. Now when we know what is it, it's time to understand what's the difference. Last one give me advantage on work. First one, tab completion. In Bash, if you start typing a command or file name and press tab, it will try to guess what you are typing, but sometimes it might not give many suggestions. In ZCH, it's much smarter. It shows a list of things that match what you are typing, like a menu of choices. It's like the helper is better at guessing what you want. Second, fixing mistakes. If you make a mistake in Bash, like typing a wrong command, you just say command not found and you have to try again. In ZCH, if you make a small mistake, it sometimes says, did you mean this? and fix it for you. It's like a helper who helps you when you mess up. Customization. Bash looks plain by default. Kind of like a helper wearing plain clothes. In ZCH you can dress it up with colors, cool themes and fun icons. It's like giving your helper a cool outfit and superpower. Password typing. When you type your password in Bash, it just shows a blinking cursor so you don't see anything at all. In ZCH you can make it show little star so you know you are typing but still keep the password secret. How did the last one help me at work? My trainee team and I had a task to connect to Docker on Linux. One of the team members tried to enter the password and said there was a bug because nothing was showing up on the screen. With my knowledge of Bash, I entered the password and explained it to them that it's normal for the and explain it to them that it's normal for the password not to show in the terminal. I told them to do the same and it worked. And if you want to improve further, you know where the subscribe button is.